election time, election time, election time. See, you understand, you know, as I get deeper into it, the, it, the more I see, the more you learn, the more I see, the more I grow. Y'all be on some goofy goofy. I'm a Trump supporter. If I decide to vote, I'm voting for Trump. Because I'm an African motherfucking American. I believe in super goats. I believe in football. I believe in AR-15s. Motherfucking apple pie. Big trees. Monster trucks. Motherfucking baseball bats. Motherfucking eagles and shit. Submarines. Bullets, America, 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 America. That's me. I'm all about this country. And with the racial, oh, I said racial. What the great political race has learned to show us is that y'all be picking the wrong side for the wrong reasons. And I just came here to try to express my opinion without being too... Abrasive and offensive because truth of the matter is y'all are niggas and I'm talking to niggas. I don't know what type of audience. I do got white friends. They probably agree with this, but I don't want to have to just agree with white people when I'm with my people. I'm black power to the gill. But goddamn, what is wrong with you niggas? See, the problem is niggas think we still in 1860. You know that was when the slaves or the Emancipation Proclamation just was announced 1860. That wasn't even damn near. That wasn't even 200 years ago from us being slavery. We not even 200 years removed from slavery. Right. Okay. Anyways. But that's what's the point. I just feel like with that being said, you niggas still think motherfuckers went in Africa and just captured us. You can't even go to Africa today. Without certain shots and prerequisite information and shit to get in there. So you're telling me back in whatever, 1600, 1400s, they was in Africa running through the jungle with bananas and Jordans and mixtapes and catching niggas with, with motherfucking nets. They like, <laughs> niggas like, oh, they got me, bro. Oh, they got me. No, nigga. No. Learn the history. Niggas was, 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 we was already, as far as our descendants of slavery, the niggas, we was already captured in Durban servitudes to the Nigerian and all that ivory close. You feel me? We was already, uh, what was it? Refugees of war. Sir, uh, what was it? Captives of war. So the, the white man said, well, nigga, we got these guns. Let me get a couple of them niggas. And we gave them niggas for them guns. I gave a couple niggas away for an AK-47. At least three niggas gave me about five guns. Shit. They were talking about we only two-fifths of a man. All that goofy dumb shit. But listen to me. Boom. Do you know it was the Republican Party to, res to free the slaves? It was the Republican Party that kept that, 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 that gun stole. To, to create the Emancipation Proclamation because the Republican Party, let's understand, I don't even think y'all be believing what the fuck this shit, the Republican Party beliefs is for not community, but self-individual freedom. And that means my ability to, to, to my rights, my constitution, my ability to understand majority and aristocratic popular sovereignty. <laughs> understand. I just believe with that Republican shit. Nigga, they start being all democratic until 1929 when the Great Depression happened. Then Theodore Roosevelt came hitting us with all that Social Security Act, that EBT, all that broke nigga shit. And then ran off with it. But then what fucked us up? Cause what fucked us, what fucked niggas up from fucking or fucking with Republicans or voting with Republicans that are objective of Republicans is Ronald motherfucking Reagan. The worst motherfucker ever for black people, at least, you know what I'm saying? Started the right, the war on drugs. What really wasn't nothing but a war on black people when they already pushed the drugs in here from all of them north getting the fucking shit from fucking Columbia and shit, sending the drugs here, having us sell the drugs, then arresting us for having and selling the drugs and giving us the drugs back that they took from us on the streets. So y'all give me heat. 
Because I feel like y'all don't just care. Y'all don't get enough information and y'all got the audacity to spit out all this bullshit. Y'all want this bitch. Forgive me. Forgive me. But this is the only motherfucking country you can make it in, nigga. I, I guess probably some countries, it's illegal to be fat. Motherfucker, what's the obesity rate in America? What's the obesity rate in America? 41% of, of motherfucking Americans is overweight. Uh, but those age from... 20 years old between obsessions, age 20 years old and older, between 2017 and 2020. That means that over 100 million of those in the USA have obesity, bitch. And you think you can do that shit in different countries? You vote for Kamala, you want to. You vote for these motherfucking donkeys you want to. See, understand, I'm an African-American, bitch. I know they don't give a fuck about us, but I give a fuck about us. I give a fuck about me, and I ain't with all that community shit. You can't save niggas. Niggas can't save they damn self. So let me save me. Let me save my freedom. Let me save my individualism. Huh? I ain't with that pussy shit. Want to help the community. No, nah, nigga, it's on you to get this money. I grew up severely broke in certain parts of my life. And it was from the, the actions of my mother, not because she liked the, uh, the game or the, the man was putting her down. The choices my mother made was severely indicative to bringing us into poverty. It wasn't about nothing else. It wasn't about the motherfucking, it wasn't no Ku Klux Klan niggas hanging crosses in my yard. Wasn't no motherfuckers breaking in in. Niggas wasn't selling drugs on the block. It was my single mother and her lacking of being a fucking American. That's what it was. See, all oh, shit you never talk about is mama. See, I'm not saying that. I love you, mama. But goddammit, you could have did better. You think my shit was the worst? It was by choice. A lot of this shit wasn't no, oh, it just happened. Oh, they... A lot of this shit is orchestrated from our own choices. That's why I don't feel no empathy, no sympathy for that broke shit. Because you choose to be broke. When I woke up today, I woke up. It was just Labor Day. You know, I woke up fucked up. Ah, shit. And you know what hit my mind? Oh, maybe I ain't got to go. Ah, uh, maybe I can be late. Ah, uh, maybe. And then all that maybe was like, nigga, stop that pussy ass shit. Get that motherfucking money. Because that's what we doing it for. You ain't doing it so you can lay in the damn bed and end up getting up just to go and get it anyway. See, understand that's the American way. I'm an American. You know what I'm saying? I believe in America, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See, understand, I'm about Mountain Dew. It's, I'm, about, I'm about freedom. The only reason is 41% of Americans are obese is because we are allowed to do what the fuck we want to do. You want to be a fat, super bloke drinking motherfucker, you do that shit. This is the only place in the world where motherfuckers leave in their main country land just to come here and make it. I'm so goddamn glad that they got our ancestors and made us some slaves. Don't get me wrong, I'm not Uncle Tommy. Slavery, the things they did to, to punish us as far as to get us to be serving, picking cotton and shit, was just hideous, heinous, and inhumane, and demonstrated the evil, devilish ways of the white man. But that is, does not indicate that I'm choosing to, 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 to Uncle Tom with them motherfuckers. I just think they might have a point. It's on your black ass to get this motherfucking money. Why you voting on Kamala? Y'all want Kamala so y'all get 200 extra fucking dollars for some EVT? I'm not with that shit. I remember, nigga, I was fucked up. My man's ass, he said, bro, why you don't get on welfare? Why you don't get a bridge card? Because I'm a motherfucking American bitch with my balls hanging between my legs. Nigga, you might as well sit down when you pee if you're doing it like that. Because I ain't with it. I'd rather suffer. 
than to sit up here and go against my American ways because I'm allowed to get it. I know you might think that that ability, that extra paper that these motherfuckers Democrats give us and shit is helping you, but it's actually stopping your motion. I just did a video about motion. What's the point? You're not going to be very enthusiastic or energetic or, or, or ready to go get that paper when you got somebody giving it to you already. Well, I'm going to go get that extra 200 for if they already giving me an extra 200. You're cheating your damn self. See, understand, I am for the power. I am for the nation of America. I don't give a fuck about the people. I'm about America. Because when America win, we win. I'm about military. Blow them motherfuckers up. I'm about that shit. You think they give a fuck? I know they don't give a fuck about niggas, but God damn it. When niggas don't care about niggas. Cat, if you don't get the fuck off my green screen. On that dumb shit. Get your ass, man. Understand what I'm saying. Skee! That's my American evil speech, bitch. Y'all doing all this dumb shit. Nigga, ain't nowhere else you can do this shit. Y'all don't want to vote for Kamala. I don't even look at political views. I don't look at her beliefs. I ain't look at nobody beliefs. No Trump shit. None of this shit. I'm just saying, if I'm going to have somebody head the motherfucking nation, I'm going to get the motherfucking that's grabbing motherfuckers by the pussy. Then the motherfucking motherfuckers send the billions to Ukraine and shit over nothing. Some shit that ain't got nothing to do with this. And then you black ass niggas gonna sit up here and be okay with this. Democrats doing that billion dollar bullshit, sending that shit to Ukraine when we could have been getting reparations, but we don't stand on shit. We just worry about the biggest ass that's getting shaped. We just worry about the, 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 the next chicken sandwich dropping and shit. We ain't trying to fight for no reparations. We not trying to fight for what the fuck our ancestors did and get paid for. Y'all worry about this bullshit. Y'all fighting for an extra $6,000 in child credit. In child credit. You fucking motherfuckers. You bastard baby making motherfuckers. Don't go get up here and fuck up this goddamn country. I'm not, what? I'm against it. And at the end of the day, I'm for the people. I'm from all people. But goddamn it, you, I gotta be black. No crackers identify me as black. I'm sorry, I said cracker. But cracker ain't gonna hurt unless I say nigga. Huh? See, understand what a real nigga saying, man. I'm not with that pussy shit. I stand for America. I stand for the strong survive. If you don't get it, nigga, you ain't with it. You sound dumb as hell if you think you never had the opportunity to get ahead. Life don't even work like that. You tell me it's all bad. Why the fuck my nose itch? It's all bad all the time. You never had a chance to get ahead. Or is it that you choose to stay behind, nigga? The fuck? I'm not with that pussy shit. I'm not with that pussy shit. This the only motherfucking country you can do it like this, nigga. This the only motherfucking country I can blow that crud. I can, I can, I can do what the fuck I want to do. I can whip my dick out on this camera right now. The video might get blocked, but I did it. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucking America, and I'm an African motherfucking American bitch. Both for Trump. You want to win? See, y'all be wanting people to save y'all. I'm trying to save my damn self, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Broke ass motherfucker. That's that broke shit y'all talking about. Oh, he gonna kill niggas. He go, nigga, I just seen nigga kill a nigga at the Coney Island. When niggas ain't gonna kill niggas? They shot, my, my, my niggas got shot up. Who shot them up? Another nigga. Huh? And we talking about bullshit. We got all this fear. I heard y'all mad about black jobs. Nigga, when we gonna stop being mad about reality? When we gonna stop getting mad at the truth? When we gonna stop being sensitive, stop our motherfucking singing, and start our motherfucking swinging? I'm Malcolm X round this bitch. Shout out to my nigga Malcolm X, Detroit Red, nigga. Fuck is you saying, bitch? Shout out to X, nigga. This what I'm standing on. Liberation, nigga. For the community. We should have segregated, nigga. Kept us separated so we can build our own black forces, nigga. You see what they did in Toulouse? They said, hell no, we ain't having that. They gave too much money. 
I don't understand what the fuck I'm saying, nigga. Y'all gonna vote for Kamala. For some pussy shit. Y'all want life to be easy. I want this shit to be hard. Because I can take it. I can put that work in. I can grind. It ain't even about that money. I stand on business. I stand on principle, nigga. Democrats don't want they they about community. They about the government doing all that shit. They about Medicare and all that bullshit. What the Republicans stand for? Freedom of individual motherfucking self. You get your paper. Let the government take that shit, put that shit in the military, all that shit. <coughs> Lower the taxes and shit. Motherfucking Democrats, they all want to take our motherfucking taxes. What the fuck? Y'all do it America with that pussy shit. Vote for Trump, nigga. Vote for a real nigga. Biden with what Biden went off his folio. What the fuck he do? Trump got an office, bitch, and changed my motherfucking life. Fuck nigga. Fuck is y'all talking about? And fuck Obama too. Fuck all that Democratic pussy shit. I'm with that hard rugged shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, nigga. I'm out there every day in the field, in the jungle, trying to get it, trying to win. Because this is America, bitch. That's what I'm allowed to do. Nigga. Motherfucker, I'm American. Then, that border shit that Colorado, Venezuela is coming in Colorado, taking over whole communities and shit. <coughs> oh, y'all don't think we don't need a border? You lock your door two times, my black ass walked out, but you gonna let all them illegals come through the country like it ain't shit. Ain't nothing wrong with the Mexican or uh, 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 Venezuelan. But bitch, you need to have them papers if you wanna come in this motherfucking country and get some paper. They motherfucking let the ARAS come pay taxes to the free, take their taxes, motherfucking transfer it to another fucker, reroute that bitch again, seven years free taxes, nigga. What the fuck is we talking about? And you niggas arguing about some shit that done happened already. Talking about bullshit. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm here for. To bring reality into life. To speak on that real shit. Y'all voting for this pussy shit. Won't like to be pussified. I want this shit to be harder. I want this shit to be stronger. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to make you get it, bitch. You want it, you got to get it. Nothing was given to me. I had to get it. I'm a go-getter. I want it, I'm going to get it. I might not be able to just get it right then and there. Fuck that instant gratification shit. I might be not be able to get it tomorrow or the motherfucking next year. But bitch, I want it and I'm going to get it, nigga. That's America, nigga. Take your ass to North Korea. They can't even read a book. They can't watch TV. None of that shit. Take your ass to North Korea. Take your ass to fucking Ukraine where they dropping bombs on their ass. Every fucking day. Take your ass to Italy and shit where they don't want your black ass. There ain't no ice in their water. Take your ass to Mexico where they'll chop your ass up, nigga, in the name of the, the Himalayan cartel. No disrespect to the cartel. I ain't even playing with it. I, ain't, I hope I ain't saying nothing disrespectful either. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't play that. You go play with them if you want to. I'm in America, I don't even play that shit, nigga. Don't play with the cartel shit. You know, them, they, they all win. Shit, that's my niggas. Y'all keep doing y'all shit. Y'all the winning. I just have to get this claim. All it takes one member here to shit. You feel me? I ain't no Mr. Shubel. I ain't playing no cartel, none of that. Y'all the ones. Y'all the real niggas. Keep doing y'all thing. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Play if you want. And you can't do this shit nowhere else, nigga. This ain't no tap water, nigga. The fuck? Bitch, this America, man. This a motherfucking America, bro. I don't, I don't know what, how y'all gonna get it, but this is how I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it my American motherfucking way. Nigga, get it like you live it, nigga. America. I do whatever the fuck I want when I want. That's America, nigga. Fuck, I'm American, bro. I don't even give a fuck. So, you know, it's the dog. I feel like I've exhausted my rent on this political and the Africans and the whatever the case is. 
I say all this shit to say that the love for guns and zen pouches and big gulps and Mountain Dew and football is our motherfucking American right. And it wouldn't be nothing without niggas. Period. You game the game. You lame, you lame. Bitch, did you know? Bitch, did you know that it's king?